Scientists have discovered a large body of water under the Earth's surface. This body of water is so large that it has the potential to engulf the world's ocean three times over. As Professor Frank Brenker from the Institute of Geoscience at Goethe University in Frankfurt, Germany says, We knew that the boundary layer under the Earth has an enormous capacity for storing water. However, we didn't know whether it actually did so. Is this the fountain of the deep mentioned in the flood story in Genesis? Stick around as we dive deeper into this discovery. The outermost layer of the earth is known as the crust. It is about 40 kilometers deep and makes up about 1% of the earth's mass. Because it sits upon the semi-molten mantle, the crust is not one large slab of rock. It is actually made up of numerous jigsaw pieces called tectonic plates. Where two plates meet, they will either converge, diverge, or transform. In plate convergence, if the plates have similar makeup or density, they will fold on each other, while a varying density will cause subduction to take place. The researchers at Goethe University confirmed using Raman spectroscopy and Fatir spectrometry that at the subduction zone, ocean water is normally subducted with the plate itself. This means that the water cycle of our planet includes the interior of the Earth. As the plate moves down into the mantle and into the transition zone, it is stopped in its tracks by the currents moving upward from the lower mantle. Brenka says, the subducting slabs also carry deep sea sediments piggybacking into the Earth's interior. These sediments can hold large quantities of water and carbon dioxide. But until now, it was unclear just how much enters the transition zone in the form of stable hydrous minerals and carbonates. It was therefore unclear whether large quantities of water really are stored there. The dense minerals wadzilite and ringwoodite found in the mantle theoretically have the ability to store up to six times the amount of water in our oceans. After the researchers analyzed diamonds formed from a depth of 660 kilometers in the earth, it was revealed that these stones contained ringwoodite, which consisted of high water content. This was exactly the same as almost every fragment of mantle rock found in basalts everywhere in the world. The discovery led Brenka to conclude that the transition zone in the mantle was not a dry sponge, but it holds a considerable amount of water. This also brings us one step closer to Jules Verne's idea of an ocean inside the earth. The writer of the flood account says, In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were open, and the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. The waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the mountains were covered, and all flesh died and moved upon the earth, both of fowl and of cattle and of beast, and of every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth, and every man. All in whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry land, died. Then after the forty days had passed, it says, And God remembered Noah, and every living thing, and all the cattle that was with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters assuaged. The fountains also of the deep, and the windows of heaven were stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained, and the waters returned from off the earth continually. And after the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters were abated. The discovery made by the team in Frankfurt gives strong evidence to those who hold the view of the worldwide flood. The scripture says that the fountains of the deep were open, and because of that, the waters prevailed over the mountains, destroying all flesh. The IVP Bible Background Commentary notes that the Atrahasis and Gilgamesh epics are the most notable accounts of the flood story in the ancient Near East. These sources report that the chief god Enlil became angry with mankind because they had multiplied over the earth and became too noisy on the earth. After trying to reduce the population through drought and disease and failing, Enlil later persuaded the Divine Assembly to approve a flood for the total destruction of mankind. 
The god Ea was able to warn a loyal worshipper that a flood was coming. He was a king who was instructed to build a boat that would preserve him and his family, along with representatives who were skilled in various arts of civilization. The boat was made in the shape of a ziggurat, and when the storm came, it lasted seven days and seven nights on the earth. There are many accounts like this in the ancient Near East, which give strong evidence that a flood did happen. We can talk about the differences in these stories in another video. In the meantime, do you believe that this discovery by the Frankfurt researchers gives credence to the notion of a worldwide flood? Leave your response in a comment below. If this video was interesting to you, please check out this other video or view my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.